Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Charisma to AC. We're playing Masks, a new generation. And in this particular case, we are playing Halcyon City Defenders. We follow our little superhero troop of teenage, uh, teenage superhero up-and-coming mess people. They're, 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 you're not doing that great, guys, is what I'm saying. Like, I, I feel like a, a, there's a lot of baggage going on right now. Like, these are tough times for our, our beloved teenagers. Um, well... That, that, that's... You can't make us! No, you know what? That's true. And I'm not here to no, make you. No, you, you know nothing. It's just because you're an adult and you don't understand people of our generation. Look, you will do as you're told. You will eat, you will eat your vegetables and do your homework. I'm gonna go paint my room black. <laughs> <laughs> I am old enough to sleep with him. Oh my god! Your room is already black. <laughs> <laughs> That's only because I never clean it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen yeah, of the viewing audience, <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen of the viewing audience, welcome back to House and City Defenders. <laughs> um, yeah, so superheroes, teenagers, great combo. Let's do this. Um, I, I, I would like to, in all seriousness, there is one thing I'd like to add before we even continue today. I think we should all have one minute of of uh, of, of really really stupid jingles in memory of uh, in memory of the great and incomparable uh, Adam West, yeah, who I, passed I, away I, today. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm going to repeat my faux pas from early and say who? Batman from the 1960s show. Yeah, the uh, the original Cape Crusader. Yes, I'm. I'm young to have seen that. It's okay. Oh my god, uh, you yeah. have missed out. It is so so cheesy. You have no idea. Rest in it peace. It is kitsch taken. Mr. It's it's kitsch made into an art. Rest in peace, yes. Mr. Adam West. Yes. Alas, we we don't have any stupid jingles to play, but we do have we do have stupid antics to get into. Batman. So naturally, I am I am not the only one here, as you may have realized. I just have the the honor and privilege of being your game master and host for the show. I am in fact joined by everyone. Everyone, of course, comprises Joan. Brain, Dalman, Rasmus, and AJ. Hello. Hello. Now I have a very good question for you. Yeah. You think we can actually make it so that he's no longer honored to be our game master after this? I mean, I'm not, I'm not honored to be your game master. I'm honored to be the game master, like mastering the game that we're putting on for the viewing audience, right? You guys, you have lost, you've lost all credit, right? Like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm, I'm not enjoying I... my time with you. I am here for the audience. <laughs> Okay, we can hereby conclude that I accept the challenge. I have to say this, guys. I, I, I just, I have to do this because, you know, I, I am by now rather obligated to do this on a weekly basis. I think we just witnessed Daniel's heel turn. <laughs> <laughs> it's we me, Austin! Sorry. Um, Not me all along. Ah. To, um, okay. Sorry, yeah, let's, let's, let's get into this. Let's, let's get some superhero on. Um... So when when last we left our interrupted heroes, uh, you were in a a bit of a two way conversation. You were you were spinning a bit back and forth um, on the topic of whether or not one of your fellows should uh, allow himself to be willfully incarcerated uh, to to uh, to uh, you know stand uh, in in front of Lady Justice for the crimes he, of which he had been accused, or if uh, he should not. And uh, though. Um, Though many of you came to his defense and supported uh, him, in this case we're talking about Vigil, uh, Vigil did, uh, did elect to, to stand his ground and to uh, let himself be reincarcerated uh, for, the, uh, for the alleged kidnapping of your, uh, your former beacon, uh, Mark, uh, uh, Mark Nielsen. Uh, after her being incarcerated, he was then um, surprisingly uh, given bail. Gesundheit. <laughs> What's it? Yeah, his uh, his bail was posted, which is uh, interesting because like it's it's not typical to be allowed to post bail for those kinds of crimes. But uh, you know, Deacon Graves is a powerful man with many connections, and uh, after uh, after offering um, uh, after offering Vigil uh, to come join him and work for him in his uh, in his industrial complex, uh, and Vigil turning him down, uh, they they parted ways and. 
uh, Vigil went to uh, to inform the rest of you that uh, he was he was ready and able to rejoin you guys. However, in well, the... at least un- at least until the, the court case begins. Exactly. Because, when when uh... the first hearing gets called, then it gets interesting. But uh, yeah, the the you now have some some time, you know, on the the more roomy side of the bars uh, that you can you can use to do whatever you want if you want to uh, to continue uh, to continue to 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 interact with and engage with this uh, allegation uh, to the best of your abilities. You are able to do that. However, in the meantime, while this was happening. Um, two of you, uh, namely Nightshade, our Janus, and uh, White Sparrow, our Doomed, uh, went to see um, went to see your old companion Mark, and found him locked into his own mind. Uh, his psyche is trapped within his body. Uh, he is uh, taking a lot of prescription medication, uh, all of it or most of it, uh, supposedly to help him uh, get out of his wheelchair, and all of it uh, from a. Uh, a company called Verisign, which is uh, owned by Deacon Graves. So that happened, and then there was a very touching talk between uh, Diamond and Starlight, and I think we left it uh, there on on the on the note of Finn uh, sending a message informing you all that he's back out on uh, back out in 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 the free world and and ready to join up with you lot. Yeah, one more thing I would like to add actually is that Finn uh, specifically got under the skin of his mom uh, when when she left because she was angry with him yep. for, for choosing to to stand trial, and he uh, I remember it quite distinctly uh, said when he when when she was about to storm out in a in a childish huff because that's what Pala is all about as we know, um, he said I'm sorry but I think this is what father would have wanted. Yep, that was uh, that was dropped. That's a bit of foreshadowing, because we don't know. <laughs> now, um, and that's true. Uh, so, in in uh, I think what uh, what uh, Pala was actually uh, angry about was not that he would stand trial for what he was gonna do. There was that, but but it was mostly that uh, that he left um, he left his job unfinished. Right, he was like uh, seeing seeing it halfway through and then like not doing anything and then just like letting himself be incarcerated she was not about that and uh in the ensuing spat uh before she left uh, uh night shit not night shit vigil did manage to take influence away from his mother so uh you, you're at a point right now where uh, your mother doesn't have uh, influence over you no i think does it doesn't mean that i that i take an influence from her or no i think it just means that i canceled the temporary influence yeah, that's what I'm saying. You took influence away from her. She doesn't have influence. Yeah, but it's away. not. Oh, oh. So if that that happened, then I should should have gained potential for that because of my legacy matters move. I thought I thought I thought we just. Uh, no, wait, wait. Uh, I've chosen to. We changed the egg outcome of it at the end. I shifted my labels instead. Did you? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sh- uh, because because I thought I thought I wouldn't take. I was thought I was just canceling the, her influence, and I didn't see the benefit in that for now. So I decided to shift my labels like my way instead. All right. That's what happened. Well, that's perfectly okay. So that's what happened last time. Uh, now, before we go into this time, let's have a a brief uh, reintroduction of our characters as we are want to do. Uh, run through your labels real quick. Uh, tell us if you have any conditions. Uh, name any particular uh, mechanics of interest about your character, and uh, then we'll we'll get ready to get into game. So, starting at the top, Diamond, our bull. <coughs> tell us about yourself. Yes. Well, quite a lot changed last time uh, during game last time for uh, for Diamond. Uh, her freak fell like it dropped like uh, like a rock actually. So right now she's a zero freak, three danger, zero savior, one superior, and minus one mundane. All right, and no conditions and marked. No, no conditions marked. Um, uh, she's managed to pick up some hold over a few of the others, but uh, you know, no conditions. Yeah. Who uh, um, who do you have influence over? Uh, she's got influence over everyone uh, in the group, and she's uh, her bull's heart, which is obviously a fairly important uh, mechanic for any bull, is 
um, her her friendship with Starlight, which is her her um, her love, and the rivalry that she's got going with Vigil, which is um, an enabler uh, uh, rivalry where she can basically, you know, make him do really stupid and yeah. reckless shit. So, I'll, I'll so I'll yeah, poking the bear. Yes, poking the bear. All right. Is that what they call it when somebody is? Is that what it's called when when somebody tries to diddle Vladimir Putin? Uh, you don't know this, fellas, but uh, literally the first like two minutes before we started recording, it was bad joke central up in here, and um, still is. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean about bad jokes? That was a first-rate one. That was a first-rate scorcher. Finn, get us out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Finn, away! Uh, yeah, uh, Finn, I'm playing Legacy Playbook. Uh, yeah, my all, uh, most of my mechanics surround the surround my legacy and interactions with it, um, which I do surprisingly little. Uh, <laughs> and uh, my uh, labels are Freak One, Danger Zero, Savior Lock. Locked at two, superior zero, mundane one. And I possess one condition from last time, and it is hopeless. And I have one potential. One point of potential. <laughs> and, for, and like four advancements already. All right. Yeah. Fail, fail captain. Yeah. <laughs> Just rolling, uh -huh. rolling all the snake eyes. All right. Cool. Uh, Nightshade, tell us a little bit about yourself. Nightshade is the uh, Janus playbook. His current labels are Freak Zero, Danger Zero, Savior Three, Superior One, and Mundane One. I have no conditions currently. Yeah. And I have one one potential mark, just like Vigil. Very good. We have some responsibilities as the Janus. Indeed. Indeed. What are those responsibilities? My, res my responsibilities are I have a job. I'm a barista. Uh, my schoolwork. And my best friend, Daniel Thornton. Very nice. Your neglected best friend. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. He has been neglected. The poor boy. All right. Starlight, tell us a little bit about yourself. Starlight needed to unmute. All right. Now that she is unmuted, tell me what you're all about. Uh, Starlight is the Nova. And her labels haven't really changed much. It's still Frig of 3 and Danger of 2. Savior of 0, Superior of 0, and Mundane of minus 2. Mm -hmm. Totally not mundane. <laughs> she still has two conditions. Guilty and hopeless. And her relationships are... Let's see if I can find them again. She uh, hurt the poor little sparrow. And Finn tried to help her, but got caught. All right. Very good. Last but certainly not least, White Sparrow. Yes, <clears throat> it's me. Um, Sparrow is the doomed playbook. And of note, she unlocked her first Doom sign last time. So that's right. fun. I'm looking forward to trying that out. Yeah, why don't you tell us a little bit about your Doom sign? Uh, so the one I chose for Sparrow, uh, after a long debate, was Dark Visions. Cool. So from now on, I can mark my Doom track to have uh, frightening visions. And I can then ask Daniel a question that he must answer truthfully. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, Dank Vision. <laughs> Excellent. She um, surprisingly has no conditions, despite having had a pretty rough time last time, at least emotionally. Um, she has a Freak of minus two, a Danger of minus one, a Savior of three, a Superior of one, and a Mundane of two. I think that one's gone up, maybe. All right. Very good. Uh, your team pool I have reset to two uh, upon the start of this session. 
So, when, uh, when we rejoin the lot of you in this particular issue of our comic book, uh, we do as we are wont to do, and we, we flip past the front cover, which is muted, and uh, we are unable to see exactly what it is, and as we, we flip to the very first page of, of the following issue, um, we find the group of you doing... Yeah, I, I'm actually kind of curious about what you think like uh, happened like the first two days following the end of last session. I think I actually want to have something like happening immediately after the. Uh, oh, you want to jump like just yeah. Straight in it's like, it's just, yeah, it's just like a little bit of a flashback because we've seen what all the people, what all the other people were doing while, you know, uh, that's what we ended on, and I think we have a little bit like one literally one page flashback with like a couple of pictures of like Finn coming on back to his sanctuary, seeing the mess left, left in there. Uh, like gathering like scattered wood. Uh, scattered wood from like busted wall. Sorry, I had to. Uh, yeah, uh, and um, yeah, he, like he's gathering all the all that wood, putting it on like this giant pile taking like out from the kitchen we have like a zoom in on like a um uh, would be lighter fluid you know that thing that you use for to light a barbecue mm -hmm. this kind of like uh ignition ignition fuel like a fuel in a bottle yeah he, he just like pours like the entire bottle over this like wood scattered wood that was that was uh, and he basically uh he lights it up like making like a giant bonfire Mm -hmm. And then we see like him like popping off the bo popping off the bottle like that uh, like like um, you know basically making it a trumpet. Uh, <laughs> but, but then after after the giant swig, he just takes out takes out his phone, and we see him s sending out sending uh, out the message the uh, the message. And basically, we see this like like shadow, like the last picture of this on the side, maybe the biggest one is him, like with bottle with a bottle in one hand, with phone in the other, and just uh, all, like in the background there is a bonfire, and we just see like this this weird shadowy silhouette. That's why he sent like I'm back, and then picture of a bonfire, <laughs> like like emoji of a fire. Thing. All right. So, uh, yeah. would you, like, you're you're inviting the others to come join you. For uh, that, that, well, that, that's the that's the implied thing, but I don't know if they will get it. That's yeah, I, I think I think it, the the question is valid. Like, of when such an invite get, when uh, like goes out, how many respond? I can say for certain that Sparrow will not. She is absolutely exhausted. Also, um, once. Uh, we move on. I would like also to have something happen immediately the next day. Very good. All right. I think Nightshade would respond. Cool. Anyone else? Uh, I'm tempted to say uh, yes, but... No, you know what? I am going to say yes. Despite the, uh, the, uh, the, the rivalry, I am going to, to say yes. Sure. Um, and uh, that means Diamond would be uh, would be uh, uh, well. She would be talking to uh, Starlight when the um, when the uh, uh, message comes in, and and obviously it would go in her head at the same time <laughs> as, as Starlight's would go in her pocket. I'm sorry, that's just a great visual image of your head just going <laughs> Yeah, actually that's a good point. <laughs> but no, the, the the point is she looks at, at the at Starlight and uh, shrugs and says, I guess I guess we should go and make sure he doesn't do something else, which is completely foolish. I think maybe let me see. If... I'm muted again. Yeah. Oops. 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 That was an oopsie. What's your response? Well, she just sighs 
Are you sure we can keep him from doing something stupid? Um, Diamond. Sh uh, first, she shrugs. That turns into a roll of her shoulders. And then she cracks her knuckles. And that's her answer. Styla lifts her brow. Just don't wreck the entire house. Oh, I have no intention of doing Thanks. anything of the sort, especially if he doesn't actually do anything foolish. Mm. Now you're just hoping he's going to do something foolish, aren't you? No, I actually hope he doesn't. Ah, good. I don't... I don't actually want to fight him, uh, Starlight. I, I just... I think... I think I misread him very, very badly the first few times I, we met him. I, I, I met him. I think I saw something in him that he doesn't possess. And and that's my fault. Uh, I don't want to fight him. I don't want to punch him. I just want him to... I want him to realize that the world is not about him. Oh. All right. Sweet. All right, so cut forward to uh, the three of you arriving at uh, at um, Mitchell's Sanctuary, which is now like the semi-broken uh, uh, log cabin uh, by a, a, a little lake in the more greener, outskirty landscapes of uh, Halcyon City proper. And uh, I suppose, upon arriving, there is a yeah, there is a bonfire lit like somewhere yeah, outside. Yeah, even, even even before because it's like there was so many things he gathered. Uh, like uh, there is like probably even before you see you see the bonfire, you see this kind of weird you know light coming on like this kind of like a like a giant flickering light of a bonfire of a bonfire, but like you don't you don't really always know if it's a if it's something something. Uh, if it's a like fire, like something on fire, or if it, is it like a house on fire or something? Like that? Yeah, <laughs> the way we like the, the you know, yeah, the, the, pic the picture we get like is basically just like yeah. the, the the bonfire and like uh, the silhouette of your friends arriving in the foreground. Oh, Finn is probably like either sitting or lying like on the ground next to the thing with the bottle in his hand, like probably are already trick water empty. He is drunk. He is, he is drunk of his ass. Because he, he doesn't need even that much to get drunk. <laughs> because he never drunk <laughs> in his life. So so Silly basically, boy. like, e e even like quarter of that bottle would probably be enough to get him sloshed. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, you all arrive. Basically, I'm going to just say you arrive at the same time for convenience. Convenient. Yeah. That's our shared superpower. We always the... arrive at exactly the same moment. Exactly. That's right. It it is it is the actually it's the artist superpower. Right. It's that's that's what he's doing. All right. Well, um, if there is a fire going on, uh, I think Diamond will head in that direction just to see if he's burning all his own underpants or if he's uh, actually no, no, set you... the house on fire. Yeah, you arrive and, and spot the scene as it is. It's just basically you might. just like a large bonfire has been constructed out of, you know, like broken pieces of wood. And uh, there seems to be a somewhat drunken fin, like uh, lounging in, in proximity to it. Well, like, at least... la laying like starfish on the, on the grass. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least that I can, I can, I can get behind that. I think as uh, Nightshade uh, is arriving, we see like a panel of him on his phone texting his dad saying staying with a friend tonight it's been a rough night and just leaves it at that i think uh, i think uh, actually is it possible uh, daniel for for uh, um diamond when she she sees this she will try to walk up towards uh finn on the ground um for, so she's got the lights um she's got the light uh, behind her so that he can't actually fully make her out, uh, and then she's going to use that cell phone to to play, and, and it's going to be grainy and not sound like a, an actual person speaking. But she's going to try to find on the internet a uh, a clip of a uh, of of a of a cop saying something, something along the lines of "I don't think you're quite old enough to drink, young man," <laughs> and then she's going to and she and she's going to play that as she approaches him. I mean, you could like failing that, you could do your best. 
voice, like cop voice impersonation. Uh, but yeah, you can totally pull that that stunt. Uh, and the way, like, so the way we basically just see this in the comic book is a, a speech bubble from off screen, right? Being like, I don't think you're old enough to drink. And then he's like, what? I don't. Uh, and then we, we, like next frame we see it's, it's uh, fucking, uh, it's Diamond pulling a prank. Hmm. I think Finn at the, at the beginning would not react. He had enough of the police today. Like, I want, oh, uh, I want to see you. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> Robbie, we see like like that that was said that was said with his head facing away from the picture, and then with next picture is his head like turning out uh, out to to the proper direction. It's like ah, oh, this is diamond, my dearest friend. <laughs> Holy shit, you have been drinking. Ah, Vigil is a heavy drunk. <laughs> uh, it's like he like like raises his one hand with the bottle, like oh, well, I, I, I have some. There's like there is like maybe less than a quarter of a bottle left. <laughs> you'll, you'll take a sip of it if there is enough. I I I I, I, I think I have more. Uh, uh there. Uh, he like points to the lake. When was the last? Diamond takes a, a long swig on this thing, and then she looks at him and says, "When was the last time you got drunk?" Ah, uh, an hour ago. <laughs> I mean, I think... before this time. Have you ever been before today? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> oh boy, tomorrow. I think uh, Nightshade holds his hand, his hand out for the bottle. Yeah, well, she hands it on over. He uh, like. Sniffs it. He's like, interesting thing is, I can't get drunk. My powers prevent me from getting drunk. But it that... But your powers don't prevent baby Jesus from crying. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Nightshade gets a look of absolute, undiluted, deep felt and genuine sympathy from from uh, from Diamond at the revelation that he can't get drunk. It's just this <laughs> dude. I'm so sorry. Actually, it makes drinking contests pretty easy. Yeah, but you miss out on the fun. So, he, and he takes a swig and then hands it uh, back to uh, Diamond. <laughs> like at this at this point, like Finn tries to sit, like from his starfish position, he tries to sit up. And like, uh, 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 there we go. Um. Uh, and he like looks at every single person at, uh, like for a moment, like one, two, three, um, and he goes back to Nightshade. It's like, what is Sparrow? I don't know. I figured she would be here. Uh, okay. I well, is she? And <laughs> she looks again. <laughs> <laughs> Where is she? I I thought she would be here. Is she here? No. Where is she? <laughs> drunk idiot. Uh, this this is a very very convincingly RP teenage drunk. I have to say. <laughs> it's like I've been there before. I wonder. How. <laughs> uh, and she's he's like like um um I was I w I was to say something um uh. I I don't I don't remember. <laughs> well, I have a question, Finn. <laughs> <laughs> and he like holds his one finger just up, like just, oh, give me a minute. <laughs> uh, yes, he wipes his mouth. <laughs> um, I think How did you this... get out? I think when he wipes his mouth and and while he gets ready to answer, um, uh, uh, Diamond will tear, uh, you know, the the bottom two and a half inches off her her uh, her t-shirt all the way around, so her tank top, so that he has something to wipe his mouth and face with. <laughs> we could probably use his sleeve instead, but like, uh, why is he offering? So we get we get uh, mid midriff diamond for the first time. Midriff diamond for the first time, yeah. Costume change. <laughs> costume change. Yeah, 
But following <laughs> following this, it's only crop tops. Like just like yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me a fucking break, especially since <laughs> especially since diamond is not actually what you would call conventionally sexy. Yeah, but that's that's the entire point, right? Is that like how are we how are we the poor the poor reader supposed to appreciate that your character has a six pack if she's wearing a t shirt? <laughs> because she wears tight tank tops. Ah, that makes sense. Muscle shirts, basically. Beautiful. Bandix. No. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Yeah. But after no. after you rip it off, no no dress your character <laughs> sexually already. This <laughs> this is a comic book, damn it. Yes. <laughs> okay, then Vince. Um, and and she is the mold yeah. breaker. Yeah. Yeah. Good, she... good. Good for you. Good. Good for yeah, your character. Finn, Finn, Finn takes the like. He was like he's like reaching with his like sleeve. I was like, oh, thank. He wiped them all and continuing to the question. Um, uh, 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 I, I got out. Yes, how did you get out, Finn? I thought you went back to stay in prison. Um, uh, it's a, um, uh, it's, um, a, a friend, yes. Fred got me out legally. Le- legally, I we did it. There was no breakings. So nope. you have a friend who's willing to what break you out? No, because then it would uh, be legal. Uh, uh, so, uh, so bail you out? Yes, uh, yes. That's 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 the word. That that's the word. I was looking. Bailing somebody out of any. St- you were there for kidnapping. There's not bail for kidnapping. I don't know how legal things work. I don't know. Generally, generally speaking, if if, if, law? Me, uh, <laughs> if you if you um um if if you've committed some kind of, of crime which is deemed to be against you know to be um that would basically make you like other... un, yeah, unsafe to be around. Yeah, exactly. If you're, you know, endangered other people, then then bail would be <clears throat> astonishingly high, or or at the very least, or even denied completely. I mean, uh, at this at this point, he's like he, he looks at you, but there is no comprehension in his eyes. Like, like, uh, yeah, just okay. like the guys, uh, the dumb, guys. Dumb glasses. He looks like he looks like he's listening, but he's like no, no. <laughs> so you know the the connection is clearly there, but somebody somebody muted the phone. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, maybe I, maybe instead of looking at you, like he's like looking past you at starlight, like I... <laughs> that would make sense. Or a night shift for a visitor. Um. Yeah, and he's like um. Uh, uh, I I don't know. I don't know. I'm out. I'm out. I'm, I'm, no, I didn't run away. Like as I told you, like I I told uh, you. See, see, see. I told you the law works. I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. Is see? Oh, legally. Um. Oh, uh, dear, dear, dear benevolent leader and and uh, fearless uh, take charge guy. Can we just agree, just just for this one evening? Can we just agree that he's an uh, that he's a complete moron? Just 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 this once, please. He like looks at Nightshade, but points at points points at uh, uh, Diamond. Like, yes. What's the what the lady said? Yes. Yeah, I guess so. Thank you. Just, just, just for tonight. I promise I won't let it linger <coughs> much. Like, and he uh, just now like keeps keeps up, but like he keeps up like uh, almost throwing himself into the fire. He stopped just before. Like, Starlight, could could you do something about the fire before the man does an injury to himself? Uh, Starlight don't... just slowly looks at Diamond and then looks back. Mm-hmm. But I want to see what happens. I don't. Do you like bacon? Yes. 
I do love you bacon. Want to, good. Do you want to continue to like bacon? At this point, why wouldn't I keep liking bacon? See, at this point, there is a look on Diamond's face that says, I know what I'm talking about right now. And then she continues to say, if you want to continue liking bacon, you don't want to, you don't want to ever be around a burning human. That's, that's, Fine. That's, uh, she makes a barrier so he can't fall into the fire. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, he, like, probably stumbles into it, like, um, yeah, uh, don't, don't you do that to me. I'm, I'm a bad man, yeah? I'm a bad man now. <laughs> You're Batman now? Yeah. You know, I, I, I was in prison. I was taking pictures and all that jazz. Oh, uh, yeah. I should like claps a vigil on the shoulder. And he's like, yeah, you're so bad, buddy. Do you have any food in the house? I, Are you going to feed him in this condition? No, uh, I'm not going to let a good bonfire go to waste. Uh, Ooh, yeah. marshmallow. I, I, I think I do. Uh, I, mean, right. I haven't been inside actually. I think I lead a vigil to like a, a stump <laughs> or, or some a no, rock no, and let no, him no. sit down. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not going anywhere until I hear who did it. And he probably points points to the leg like slightly off where the where the hole is, where the hole in the wall, like like slightly to the left. <laughs> I, hope uh, the... I go, oh, uh, yeah, your mom punched Diamond through your house. What? Why would she punch Diamond? I kind of, like, give a look to Diamond, and I don't say anything, and I go inside. <laughs> She's <laughs> so inviting. Because she she oh, just I... looks, she looks back to, she looks back to, to our very, very drunk previous leader and just says, because I'm a bitch. What did you do to my mom? <laughs> <laughs> I told her that she was a rotten mother. But she isn't. She was right At then. least not all the time. No, see, that's the thing. She was at that moment. Right at that moment, she was basically saying, no, I'm not going oh. to help you get my son to safety. She stood there, mm -hmm. Vigil, and told us to go rescue you. And that was all fine and good. But she also made it very clear that she had no intention of helping getting you to safety. At, 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 the, at the point that she's like, saying, saying, saying the stuff to him, he like probably stumbles forward a little bit, like puts his finger like not on her mouth, but like in front, just like... Sh uh, Let's not be formal. I am thin. Not not visual. My 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 everyone else is visual. I'm thin. And he tries <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> I, I I'm sorry, I, I I think I never introduced myself properly, I suppose. He like yeah. tries like this semi courtly bow, and like, probably uh, needs to be held from falling over. <laughs> yeah, like one hand on on, on like night shit hold me, hold me. <laughs> I was like, oh, my name is Philip Farrington Wensley, Rollins Darrington, Ryder McMahon, Lytton's level, Reigns Fellow, Lovitz, Mal Ashburn, Rude Aster Faraday, Ambrose Veselovsky, Pendragon, the fourth. <laughs> and he goes to the ground. <laughs> she holds down, she, she reaches out with a hand down towards him. He scrambles so. up. <laughs> Yeah, you know, to, to to give him a hand up, and she just you know once he's back up to his feet, she just you know brushes very patiently, brushes off any any remaining uh, you know debris or dust or grass or whatever, and she just she very patiently, and then she nods and says, "Pleased to meet you, I'm Diamond." Oh, <laughs> Diamond it is. Thank you. Uh and then you see him, like, in front of you, start taking off his shirt. <laughs> sure, that's fine. 
And then he turns away on his heel and goes goes for the lake. Mm. <laughs> Should I go stop him? Please, could you? Thank you. I appreciate this. Starlight I'll... starts walking after him with a very tired look on her face. Starlight, <laughs> Starlight, I'll I'll pay for the cinema tickets or something. Just you know, as long as he doesn't, we we can go and have some fun, and I'll I'll make it up to you. But you know, just so long as he doesn't do any stupid injuries to himself. I, I think at this point, Nightshade comes back. Drown. Thank you. Nightshade comes back with like hot dogs and uh, yay hot dogs uh, yay. And is like looking around, like where'd Finn go? Uh, she jabs a thumb towards the <clears throat> the lake. Um, no, Finn, we're like... not playing. Who can keep the breath longest? Yes, <laughs> Starlight went with him. He's gonna be fine. Hot dogs. I... That, that's this I... is a, probably a look on 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 Diamond's face that none of you. Well, it's not entirely true. Starlight would Starlight have seen is. it before, <laughs> but nobody else would have seen very... this look on on Starlight or on on Diamond's face before. We we have a, a beautiful callback here to the very first time we saw the two of you on camera was you being hyper optimistic about hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, hot dogs are awesome. I throw a uh, throw a pack towards a uh, Diamond. Nom nom nom. Yes. And then I uh, definitely like throw up three in the air and then quickly like rapid succession stab him with my sword. And then hold it over the fire to start uh, roasting them. Okay, uh, Diamond just walks over there and and picks out three of them and sticks <laughs> her hand into the fire and holds it there. <laughs> Superhero chill. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking Show freaks, up! all of you. <laughs> <laughs> now Starlight just has to like levitate hot dogs in the fire now. <clears throat> No, she still has to make sure that there's a guy who doesn't drown in the lake. <laughs> All right. Yeah, as as I as I message, I'm just half half tempted to roll a die to see if he would go naked swimming. Oh no! Oh, do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What oh, do you wait. need to roll? <laughs> what? What? One d six. Okay. Sure. Horrible game master. What does he need to roll? I don't. I don't honestly care. <laughs> like, why, why, why don't why don't you why don't you assert like uh, what? I can what, make what? it easy. He's my rival. I could provoke him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, 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 like it's not oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think at that point she she would basically just look down there and uh, towards the lake then and then just shout in his general direction. I bet you're not man enough to actually go skinny dipping. <laughs> so there, here, here is a here is a fun fact. This just just to 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 code the situation here. I am all about you provoking him, yes. but that implies you want him to take his clothes off. She, yes. Hey, she doesn't have to see it. She can just look into the fire. She wants him to make a complete ass of himself. Evil <laughs> lady. There we go. Yeah, you may do it if you want. But to. it's funny because you sent Starlight to take care of him, so you're basically forcing Starlight to look at him naked. Hey, I never said I was. I mean, nice. so, so <laughs> you're, you're you're being you're being provoked. Are you taking your clothes off? Uh, I can roll for it if you want nah, me to. Nah, there is no roll here. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, one. <laughs> Uh, one d one d six one d six plus one plus one for being drunk. It is, and it, it is if it's four to four to six four to six he takes them uh, off one to three he doesn't. I mean, come on! Yes! I, mean, I, can, <laughs> I can roll plus danger here. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Oh. He's already going for it. Yeah. All right. So it's with like... with with Finn like going Starkers into the water with Starlight. Like playing Baywatch, the two of you roasting, <laughs> ro roasting stuff. Basically, some. basically, she yells that, and then there's a few seconds, and then she goes, "No, Finn, fucking don't take your shitty uh, pants! <laughs> no, <laughs> don't it! I'll kill you!" I would say, I would say <laughs> only <laughs> that light of the bonfire looks magnificent, magnificent on his butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> And then I there think, is a starlight I hovering think, above the water. Put your fucking clothes on! Daniel, Daniel, I beg of you, I beg of you. 
please let there be a, a little you know a, 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 a small series maybe of four pictures in this in this um uh, four uh, uh, consecutive drawings in in on this page where you just see uh, you see Diamond standing there, uh, looking kind of, you know, nonchalant, just holding her hand in the fire with the, with this, the the uh, the hot dog sausages, and then it just zooms in on her face, in on the corner of her mouth, and then the, the very final of these four pictures, she just see this this her her incisor as this 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 wicked little grin, smiles <laughs> on her lips. Here's here's what I would I here's what I would ideally want. I would ideally want a transition to White Sparrow being that series of pictures of you like t- like getting a grin on your face and and Diamond uh, Diamond or Nightshade shouting, "Hey Finn, nice!" And then the next picture is uh, White Sparrow like eating a bun. <laughs> I mean that would be ideal, but I don't think that's what Sparrow will be doing. Um... She'll be looking. <laughs> I mean, you could start the next picture having zoomed in on her butt. <laughs> nah, that, that's fully costume. I, I know what you do. Gratuitous bum shots. No, no, no yeah, yes, exactly. But in this uh, instance, but... Sparrow just happens to be in cat form, so you get a cat anus. <laughs> <laughs> cat bum. I mean, this. I was about to say, this This comic isn't actually directed by Michael Bay, so I don't know that we... Uh, <laughs> but, but, you know, I'm, I'm okay with it. I guess the question it's, it's is... Directed... It's directed by someone a whole lot worse. <laughs> Thank you for the vote of confidence. So, <laughs> Daniel, Daniel Akbas. Daniel Akbas, the only man who could have made a bigger mess of the Transformers franchise. <laughs> Autobots transform and everyone turns into a different brand of toaster. <laughs> or your bot. Oreo <laughs> 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 pops r- transform oh, and munch. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, we may have broken that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, let's let's really back to this uh, to the, to the <laughs> serious matter of my buttocks. <laughs> slowly, <laughs> slowly <laughs> drawing it back there. So yeah, okay, we we, we, yeah, tra- so we let, transition let's... we transition out of of your uh, out of your bonfire scene and to to Sparrow doing bonfire. what. Um, so I think this will probably be very, very early the next day, at perhaps at sunrise. Sure. And I think... And where, we, are, where are you? I think we see a Sparrow uh, hammering on a door, clearly wanting someone to come open it. Um, she's using her left hand, which she definitely doesn't. And she has uh, gone to seek out her mentor, Mind's Eye. Mm. Very good. She looks quite panicked. So if you, uh, if you have gone to seek your mentor, um, I, have, I have an idea. Um, I, think, I think you mostly only find your mentor when you need him, right? When you're like, I need Perfect. to talk to this person, then you can find him. I think we decided my mentor was a her. Oh, sorry. Uh, then you can find... Yeah, let's say her. Then you can find her. Uh, and she's only ever in your sanctuary. I, in that case, we see Sparrow pacing around in her sanctuary. Perhaps calling uh, out for her mentor every so often. Mm-hmm. Going around, like, carrying a lot of stress. Generally looking worried and, and unsatisfied. Yes. And upon like a, a, a frustrated moment of you being like, damn it, I need to talk to someone, uh, we have a, an over the shoulder view of, uh, of a form appearing behind you, uh, seemingly from nowhere. Um, do you have a, like, a, what, 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 how do you figure your, uh, your mentor typically carries themselves? So I'll, if you, if you don't mind, I, I think I'll read what we wrote down about the mentor. So the mentor seeks to mend the imbalance uh, caused by Ileana's death by causing one of the two sides to win. She doesn't actually care which one wins, only that one does. She tends towards being vague and mysterious, and I think she was an older, uh, from an older generation, and it was very ambiguous whether she was a villain or a hero back then. I do remember that. So I I have a, I also remember some some notes I took at that point in time. Um, 
I have a question for you to just like pull it back for a bit. Um, yes. What what um, when you were in your hospital bed before yes. uh, becoming a superhero, who visited you the most often? Um. Well, family. Yeah. Uh, I think. Who in particular? Mom and dad. Um. Especially towards the beginning, I think actually uh, the further along she got, the less frequent the visit became. Because, you know, she looked worse and worse, and while her parents wanted to be there for her, they also really struggled with watching their daughter die. So, you know, other than that, I think uh, Nightshade might have visited. But I'll leave that up to him. All right, so um, the, the the people who visited you the most were your parents. Um, what what is the most uh, character? Oh, and her brother. Yeah. What is the most characteristic trait of your uh, of your mother's facial feature? I don't, and I'm gonna bet in. I don't think uh, Aaron knew that you died, right? No, no one knows she died, but she was in okay. the hospital for a long time. And the official story is that her powers were manifesting, and it caused her all sorts of trouble. But that's not true. Okay, yeah, so I think, yeah, I probably would have visited a little bit. But thought you just miraculously got better. Yeah, exactly. That's what everyone thinks. Okay. Well, except for Starlight, who knows? And I suppose Mind's Eye also knows. Um, I think the most uh, striking feature from my mom... Uh, similar to Nelly, would be that she has very dark hair and very, very green eyes. All right. So, um, when when we see the form um, of your your mentor manifest in, uh, behind you, um, what do they look like besides having incredibly green eyes? Ah, uh, see what you did. Um, so they're from an earlier generation. How old would that make them? I'm not quite sure. Uh, I think uh, like we can make them like uh, nebulous of age, right? We can we can basically do them uh, like uh, paint them as a, as an ageless person, um, if that's what you want, like to be nebulous. Yeah, uh, as I understood, they had uh, some sort of mind power. That's the name. Uh, so they could probably really appear however they wanted, and since they have a tendency to be towards being vague and mysterious. I think they look vague and mysterious. All right. So we, we see the, the form of, of your mentor up here. Uh, I am imagining a, uh, a woman of, um, like, uh, not, not fair of complexion, like uh, somewhere between fair and tan, you know, like straddling that line, um, mm -hmm. with piercing green eyes, um, ageless of face, uh, probably, probably wearing a shawl uh, and standing in a... Uh, in a like deliberately mystic looking pose like holding uh, holding her hands in a manner that like denotes some kind of uh, some kind of spiritual training or doctrine right like you would uh, see people holding their hands like doing the the, the fo form of the lotus or you know doing the uh, uh, the, yeah. the, the buddha Make hand sense. sign thing right like something to that effect but something that's not directly correlated to any real world religion like uh, something like uh, fingertips to fingertips and thumbs pointing up or something Yo, dude, are you saying the Buddha is throwing hand signs? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> so, um... And you, you think... immediately sense their presence. And I think uh, Sparrow twirls around, you know, instantly turning towards them. Mm -hmm. And says, there you are! What is this? And she holds out her right hand. And the entirety of the hand, all the way up to the elbow, has turned a sort of a maroon, blackish, red, kind of nasty-looking color. Uh, your uh, your mentor, uh, I w let's call her Guru. Um, well, she, she has uh, the name Mind's Eye. Mind's Eye. Okay, cool. So That's um, a hero uh, slash villain name. Mind's Eye uh, looks at you. Uh, doesn't appear to even look at the hand. Like there's maybe a moment where you you see uh, their gaze wander, uh, but then she uh, she she her eyes uh, are back at you, uh, and saying, "What worries you?" My hand is turned like this, and I can't turn it back. Are you sure that is what worries you? Ah. Uh 
what else would it be? You tell me, what else would it be? I don't know that that something's gone wrong. That I'm mutating. That she might be taking over. She and you are the same in almost every way. But you are want for more things than just safety from her. I'm wondering if you have had cause to doubt your ways. That maybe you feel unsafe in disharmony where before there was harmony. Sparrow looks at her confused. C can't you just tell me what's going on? But my sweet, my sweet girl, I am. Something is wrong. There is an imbalance within you. Uh huh. Something has tangibly shifted and cannot be set back. That is why I'm asking you what has changed. I'm... I don't know. Um, we... We went to visit uh, Mark yesterday and I... I mean, I, I did something I, I figured I could do, but I didn't actually know I could do. And um... I hear a great sadness in your voice when you speak of this, Mark. Yeah. That... It's not a pleasant situation, and it's quite probably at least partially my fault. She looks at you as if, like, uh, like she, she's giving you space to just continue talking about it. I think Sparrow punches a tree. I don't think the tree likes it. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the tree moves out of the way, just, like, retreating, but after you hit it. I mean, so you know who Mark is, I guess, because you always know everything. And he got injured, and we kind of neglected him. He was all alone in a hospital bed, forced to face his, well, not really illness, but he was forced to face it on his own. Pixie, spit out this. I think it might be AJ's cat trying to eat her mic. Yeah, <laughs> I, sorry. I heard something that sounded like that. <laughs> I, um, sorry. It's fine. It's all right. right. And I realized that, I mean, how could I do that to him? I'm, I know what that's like. And she kind of shuts up and looks at, uh, or rather doesn't look at Mind's Eye. She kind of crosses her arms in a hugging herself kind of fashion. Mind's Eye uh, starts walking along the periphery of your sanctuary with the kind of like slow, almost meditative steps of a person in like who is both in deep thought but also completely zen with what they're doing. Um, as they say, what you describe is the crux of your conflicts. What? You allowed your you allowed your friend to go through the same injury that befell you, and you did not rise above it. But that is not the issue. The issue is of self admittance, and of accepting the truth of what you have done. You have brought so... injury to your friend. But for as long as you cannot forgive yourself, he cannot forgive you. So, I harmed an innocent? <laughs> well said. Um, <laughs> in a manner of speaking, yes. Um, and in doing so, you've brought pain to yourself. In abandoning your friend, you have brought her to an innocent, but just as much you have driven a spear in your own heart. 
Well, how do I get it out then? Can you undo the wrongdoings of the past? Is, is no. It, is life supposed to be painless? No. Accepting who you are and what you've done is the most important part of being able to live in strength and integrity. So, and she turns around and holds up her hand. This will go away if I accept that what I've done. In accepting what you've done, you might achieve a semblance of balance within yourself. In accepting who you are, you will know your own form again. As long as you do not accept who you are, how can you pretend to even know your arm, your left arm from your right, or the arm of a stranger? If you I feel compelled, to, I feel compelled to point something out here. Yeah. This mentor creature should be a professional politician. <laughs> yep. That, that is a lot of gum flapping and absolutely no content. Exactly. exactly. I mean, who I am is pretty malleable right now, isn't it? Isn't it so for all creatures? I'm... No, not in the same way. I'm not even sure I'm real sometimes. What is real? How do you understand real? How am I supposed to answer that? <clears throat> if you cannot answer that, then how do you suppose you should find answers within yourself? I don't know why I tried to find you. You're never any help. <laughs> she rubs her forehead. <laughs> Child. <clears throat> You must allow yourself to accept yourself, accept your own actions, be they good or bad. Before that, you cannot accept the truth. If before you can accept the truth of who you are, who you are cannot be the truth. But I mean, I, I know what I did. And it's a really shitty thing, but I can't just be okay with it. <laughs> It's not about right? being okay with it. Just as life is not about being painless or the road one must travel in life to be without difficulty. It's about accepting the pain and moving through it. It's about endurance. So how do I do that? One step at a time. So what, I just ignore this? As she again gestures with her arm. Your arm is normal. She blinks and looks at it. Your costume is also gone. Am I naked? Nope. You just instead instead of looking like a superhero, you look it like you're dressed like a civilian. She, you know, examines herself like, "Heart, what the fuck? Did did you do this? No. Did I do this? Accept who you are." Accept the wrongdoings that you have done, because they will never not be a part of you. Does that mean accepting the wrongdoings the other me is doing? <clears throat> As I said, you and her are the same in almost every way. Except she's evil, and, and I'm not. You, 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 you have tried. I've, I'm convinced you have tried that argument on my side before. Oh and yeah. I am convinced that you absolute like you're absolutely aware of the like ambivalence on her face as you say that. Right? <laughs> like it's just like, yeah, yeah. That 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 argument has not carried any weight to me ever since you said it the first time. I mean, she she goes out and hurts people. Deliberately. 
I save people. That's got to be better. She uh, she sends you this like she doesn't say it, but but she gives you that uh, that like is it question mark look. <laughs> it if, is. If life is Isn't not it? about if life is not about happiness, why should we pretend that sadness is the enemy? Nobody likes feeling sad. Nobody likes dying. Yet all must. Apparently not. So, uh, yeah, so at that she cocks her head. She's like, what do you speak of? Well, I mean, I kind of died. But I'm also still here. Kind of. <laughs> you are an interesting, very curious anomaly. But more than that, you carry within you the same troubles and the same challenges as any person. I guess Give... that makes me a person, doesn't it? That is not for me to answer. Now I guess it's for me. So and... I'm just going to say I am a person. And as you say that, she's gone. And Sparrow's rather defiant look instantly deflates and she goes to lean against a tree, burying her head in her knees. You can feel your arm, you can feel a sensation left over upon it, as though it's still there. And this, like, this, this change you had upon you is not gone. You're sure of it. It's like, it's like you stuck your hand in water. Even though you're not looking at it, you can feel the difference between your left arm and your right arm. One of them being slick with wet and the other not. It's that kind of sensation. Even as you look at it, and even though you can tell that by, ex like, in, in, in a sense, by accepting, like, you, you've been able to, to give yourself the form you wanted, right? Like, to give yourself this inoffensive uh, form of, of Eliana North. Um, mm. Like, it's still there. I and think she, so she I will looks tell so... you as, as a person that it, it's uh, going to manifest every time you, you change form to a uh, to your superhero shape. Yeah. I think she looks at her hand. I hate you. Why can't you just go away and let me live peace? There's a fluttering in the trees. So I have a question. Yeah. Is Lightwing, Lightwing affected by Raven's corruption? Why don't you tell us, Rasmus? That's a very good question. I'm going to say no, because he was constructed, he was constructed from a, a memory beforehand. So let's say okay. she made a construction of this memory, which would probably fail because it's not a very happy one. It would definitely <laughs> be affected, and future creations might be. Okay. Interesting. All right. So I think this is about the time we take a break, and when we come back, we will uh, we will pick up in your following adventures a day or two from now. So uh, we'll be right back with more masks. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> 